With Halloween just a few days away, parents are urged to pay close attention to what their kids get when they go trick-or-treating. Some of the candy could be potentially dangerous to your kids. With more on some tips is Dr. Anna McFarland with LSU Health Pediatric Emergency Medicine. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, my pleasure. Okay, so some tips now. One of the tips, you say tell your kids to not eat any of that candy until they sort it out at home to remove any potential danger. So what's your tip to make sure that happens, especially if parents are not trick-or-treating with their kids? So in most kids should probably trick or treat with a responsible adult. Um, but if you do trust your kids, I would, you know, I would encourage them to have the conversation before you go out and ask them to bring the candy home before they start to eat it. Um, hopefully you trust your kids. Um, I would, I would try to probably set out um, a route if they are going out, if those older kids are going out um, alone without you. Um, to set out a route that you have pre-planned that you trust in a neighborhood that you trust. And again, encourage them to bring that candy home so you guys can go through it before they eat it. Um, if you don't trust that they can follow those rules, then they need to go out with another adult. Okay, you say uh, on the list, home-baked home -baked goods, those desserts from strangers that you may get, that that's probably one of the things that maybe you should not let your kids eat, especially if you don't know the person, your reasoning for that. Right. Um, essentially, you just don't know what's there. Um, tampering is really rare, but it is possible. And so really, we recommend essentially not accepting any homemade items or discarding them if you're given to them by someone you don't know. OK, and those are the home baked goods. OK, what are the unusual wrapping or appearance on the candy that parents should look out for and just toss them away? What would be some of the things that would look unusual? Yeah, so really you're looking for, um, you want items that are commercially wrapped and look like the wrapping is intact. Nothing's been open, nothing's been unwrapped, nothing with holes in it. Um, essentially, if you're in doubt, throw it out. It's not worth it, um, but it, it does. Um, it is prudent to take a good look and make sure everything looks like that wrapping is intact and in its original state. Okay, and another important thing, so, you know, kids of all ages are out trick-or-treating. At what age are kids vulnerable to choking hazards? And what types of candy should be removed and what age group are you referring to? Yeah, so essentially infants and toddlers are at increased risk of choking. We know those kids put everything in their mouth um, and they're at increased risk. And so really with those children, really less than age four, we say no hard candies, um, limiting popcorn, gum, anything with whole nuts in it. Um, and even being being prudent about watching um, candy wrappers and small toys, which can, can be choking hazards. And my last question, your advice for kids who suffer from allergies, I mean, for example, peanuts and a lot of stuff, nuts and a lot of candies. What's your advice for parents on those things? Um, I think that one's just, um, again, um, we don't eat any of the candy till we get home and know um, ahead of time which things that they are allergic to um, and keep an eye out for those things. Potentially even, um, I know sometimes there's a struggle taking candy away from kids and so potentially having something that they can trade um, for the candy that you've had to take away to keep them safe. Some good tips. Thank you so much, doctor. Have a happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween to you.